Welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming the opposite hand makeup challenge and I am so nervous because I never really used my left hand so this is going to be very interesting. Come along with me as I apply my makeup with my left hand and I hope that it turns out okay. I hope it doesn't look like crap because I've seen other people do this and they did so amazing. So yes, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right into it. So I'm going to start with my brows. I'm going to take my LA Girl Shady Slim Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Soft Brown. This has been one of my favorite eyebrow pencils. This is so weird. Ah, okay. <laughs> I think I know. Light strong. It takes so much concentration. Oh my god. I'm only on brows. Ah. Ah. I have no idea how to spoolie with this hand. Oh my god. Usually I'm like, like super duper fast, but I have to think. Hey man, this is not that bad. Now I'm going to prep my eyes using the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish eyeshadow primer. Love this stuff. I'm going to clean up my brows using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Bare. I'm going to take my Morphe M432. Honestly, it's so hard to hold this brush because I'm like, eh, I don't know how to hold it. I hold it. I feel like I'm in first grade all over again, trying to figure out how the heck to hold a pencil. You guys should try this. So I'm gonna take my E17 from Morphe and just blend that out a little bit more since there are a bit of streaks. Now I'm gonna take the Dose of Colors Baked Browns eyeshadow palette. This eyeshadow palette is one of my favorites. Um, so I'm gonna take the shade Tea Light on the very end here. I'm going to take that on my E55 brush from Sigma and just set down the eyeshadow primer. Now I'm going to delve into the Morphe 25B palette and I'm going to take this orange shade. I'm going to use my M433 to apply that. Now I'm going to delve into this shade right here on that same brush, the M433, and just put that over top of the initial shade that we put down. Oh, my brain hurts from doing this. Now I'm going to blend that out with my M441 from working. Now I'm going to take this shade from the Dose of Colors palette, this red color called Cherry Wood. It's like a deep red brown color and I'm going to put that on the outer edge on my defined crease brush from Makeup Geek. Oh my god, I applied way too much. I'm going to take my R35 from Morphe and blend that out. These colors blend out so well, so I'm really happy about that. Now I'm going to take my pencil brush from Morphe. This is the M431. I'm going to delve into this brown shade on the very end. It's called Rock Bottom. Put it on the outer edge. One day will do you. Oh my god. Colors. Uh, beyond pigmented. Not going, not going to go too hate. So freaking lost when I do this. It's so hard for me not to hold my makeup brushes in my right hand. It's so horrible, guys. You have to try this. It's so I'm going to take this shade, pinky glittery shade in the Morphe 25B palette and put that all over the lid with my M210 from Morphe, one of my favorite brushes for glitter. And I'm going to wet my brush using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And remember to apply it with the left hand, not the right hand. Now for eyeliner, I'm going to use my Tarte Inner Rim Liner in Brightening on the inner third of my eye. 
I'm going to line the outer third of my eye and the upper waterline with the Arden CN Smooth Ride Supercharged Eyeliner in black. You guys know how much I love this. I'm thinking about getting some more shades because I just love the formula of this pencil. It's so good. I'm going to do wing liner with my left hand today. Oh my goodness, this is so, this is gonna be crazy. So, hopefully we can do a baby wing. Hopefully a little wing, but we'll see. Ooh, that is a wing, girl. That is a wing, girl. We can do makeup. Props to anybody that can do wing liner with their left hand because girl, that was so hard. As you can see, I've gone super thick. I just thought, go big or go home on this challenge. I'm going to move on to the rest of my face. For primer, I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer Mattifying Primer. I'm going to put that in my T-zone and then I'm going to use the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer for the outer part of my face because I am drier on the outer part of my face, but in the summertime, I tend to get more oily in the T-zone. Now I'm going to blend that out using my F82 from Sigma Beauty. Left hand, Miss Claire. Left hand. For foundation, I'm going to take the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation in Fairlight Neutral. I'm going to mix that with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in Y215. For concealer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair. Now, I'm going to blend that out with my setting brush from Real Techniques. For cream contour, I'm going to use the Wet Wild Dual Ended Contour Stick in the shade Late to Medium. And I've been doing this new thing with my contour where I'm going to go up in a C shape like that. I'm going to set my under eye using the Kat Von D Locket setting powder in translucent and I'm going to set it using my F89 from Sigma B. Now I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in Fair. I'm going to set the rest of my face with that and I'm going to use my G7 from Morphe. For bronzer I'm going to take the Becca Cosmetics Sunlit Bronzer in Bali Sands. And I'm going to take that on my Luxie 520 Tapered Face Brush. It's still weird applying bronzer with my left hand still. For contour, I'm gonna take my Hula Light Bronzer from Benefit Cosmetics. And I'm going to take the other side of this. This is the, the Sephora 204 brush, so it has like a contour side. This is the contour side, and then this is the blush side. You could also use this for contour, but I like using this side. I can't help but smell this every time I use it. It smells like a tropical place. Now I'm gonna take the other side. For blush, I'm going to use the Milani Powder Blush in Romantic Rose, one of my favorite blushes. I have to say it's fabulous. It has the best undertone. Ooh, girl, so we're gonna use this to blush up our cheeks. Now I'm going to take my powder brush and just blend that out. I'm going to take my NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana. I'll take this and sweep the powder away from our under eye area. I'm going to take some more of the blush from Milani, Romantic Rose. And I'm going to use my G8 brush just to smooth out the edges a little bit. I'm going to take the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter in Sin. Before we do that, I'm going to spritz my face down with some Urban Decay All Nighter. Urban Decay Highlighter in Thin. And I'm gonna take my R36 from Morphe and 
太难了。I'm gonna do my lower lash line. I'm gonna take the M five seven four from Morphe, and I'm gonna take this shade from the Morphe twenty five B palette and put them on the bottom lash line. Color and color. Now I'm gonna contour my nose using the Becca bronzer we used before in Bali Sands. And I'm going to use my JD80 180 brush that she collaborated with Luxie Beauty on. For mascara, I'm using the Estee Lauder Scrumptious Volume Bold Lifting Mascara in black. Or you gotta coil your lashes. For the bottom lashes, I'm gonna take my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I'm going to highlight the inner corner of my eye with the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter in Sin that we use to highlight. And I'm going to use my E36 from Morphe to apply that. I'm going to finish off my brows and I'm going to use the Anastasia Dip Brow in Chocolate. And I'm going to apply that with my Y23 from Morphe. I'm going to take the shade Tea Light from the Dose of Colors Baked Browns palette just to help clean up some of the shadow. And now I'm going to set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And for lipstick, I'm going to use the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Break. For lipstick, I'm going to use the new Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink Lipstick in the shade Oilist. Oh, this is such a pretty shade. It goes on really well. It's not too matte or too drying. They have a variety of shades. Can't wait to try out the rest of the shades in this line because this lipstick is great. For gloss, I'm going to use the Buxom Full On Lip Polish in White Russian. And this is the completed look. I like it a lot. I think I did really well for someone who's right-handed. Yeah, it was a challenge though for me to like blend out my eyeshadow. I think that was the hardest part of all of it. And the liquid liner. Oh my god, that was probably actually no, that was the hardest. But I don't think it was a disaster, so that's great. I'm so happy with it. I am truly proud of myself. It tested my skills and I'm really happy with how it turned out and I think I did fabulous. So let me know in the comments what you thought about this video. I would love to hear about it. And if you would like to see more challenge videos like the No Mirror Makeup Challenge or the full face of highlighter challenge or whatever, let me know in the comments and I will take those into consideration. Please subscribe if you have not already and also hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified of every time I upload a video. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. Those are all some sort of version of Victoria Claire, except for my Snapchat, which is we the Claire X3. And also follow me on Instagram. I upload an MOTD every single day, and that's where I show you like what makeup I'm wearing when I'm not filming a tutorial. Hope you guys are having a lovely day, evening, wherever you guys are in the world, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! For mascara, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Tone.